Hello and welcome to another How to Play video. Uh, this one is going to be for Lost Prophet's song, uh, uh, Still Laughing, which is tuned in drop C, which is everything a step down, and then this is tuned another step down, the low, the low E string is tuned another step down to make it C. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so the intro is nice and simple, it's just, um, yeah. I'll just play it first and then I'll explain how to play it. And it's that twice. So, all we have here is open on the A and the keys recurring every other note. Mm -hmm. And then the, the in between notes are the sort of in between you're playing 7 there on the G string 8 sorry 6 and 8 on the B string so, so that's 7 7 6 8 6 and then you go down to the 3 on the G so 3 5 0 then you go back to the first bit Okay, so for the chorus, nice and simple again, it's nice and soft, I love this song uh, because it's so easy to play and yet sounds so brilliant. So it's open, it's basically you're playing an A chord, but you play it not all at once, you go, and then you play what, um, you're playing the 3 on the C string, on the low, well it's now C string, on the low E. And you play two and one on the G and D respectively. So that's and then so you play five and then open on the on the G and B. So and those last two bits are open on the E and then open on the B. So to the sort of intro riff, back to the verse, back to the chorus. So now we're going to move on to the second half of the song. Okay, so the second half of the song starts off with tapping on the 15th and 14th fret with your right hand, so, and 3rd, 5th and 7th fret with your left hand. It should sound something like this. Like that. And after that happens twice, rhythm guitar comes in with power chords on the third, fifth, and seventh fret, playing the root notes of the tapping, um, and they'll be playing it as it moves up. So when you're playing the third fret on the tapping, the rhythm guitar will play. It's the same chord, sustained chord on the third fret, the same thing on the fifth, the same thing on the seventh, and it'll play the seventh twice, so it'll sound something like this. I'll go back down to the third fret and do it all again. After that, there is a little bridge where it's slowed down tapping, so. Again, it's the same thing. The second time it comes round, it will sound like this, though. Or, but for some reason, I find it hard to get a bit of volume out of that because, um, well, my amp is pretty bad. I will show you my amp. There are very few amps in this world that I tell you to shut up and. This one does, so um, that's how bad the sound is, it actually wants you to shut the hell up. So, yeah, um, yeah, so that's how you play the bridge bit. Then, the second half will come back in, 
uh, uh, sort of the same thing will come back in apart from the lead guitar the guitar's been tapping will now be distorted so it'll be And the rhythm guitar will be back in with the sustained clause of 3, 5 and 7. Um, now, the ending is the bit that actually is the hardest. So, you have um, tapping on the 15th fret, 14th fret and 17th fret of um, the A string. And it goes like this. And then when you move up here, the first time it goes that same thing, but then it goes on to the 17th fret of the D, uh, of the D string, back to the, 14th, uh, back to the 14th fret of the A string, then up to the 16th fret of the G string. So it'll be. like that. So it's. I'm taking that off, that's 15 on the A string and then sort of double tap on the 13th, or the 3rd fret on the low E. Now, you don't have to play tapping, you can play it all without tapping. So if you're, if you're proficient at string skipping instead, you can play this. So... And that actually goes with the bit beforehand as well, all the tapping beforehand, so you can go... Um, you can tell I haven't quite practiced that. Um, like I said, I prefer to play the tapping. But that is on the 5th fret of the G, 4th fret of the G. And then you can, if you go up to the 7th, you can, you can either go up to the 10th, 10th and 9th fret of the D. So... Um, and for the ending, it would just be like this. So that's 10, 9, 12, 9, 10, 9, sorry, 12, 9, 12, 9, and that 12 there, the first 12 will be on the G, and that one will be on the B, so it'll be 10, 9, 12, 9 on the D, and then 12, 9, 12 being on the G, 9 back on the D, 12 on the uh, B, and then 9 back on the D, so... So with it all together, and the main reason I prefer tapping that is you don't get a change of sound when you switch between, um, well, when you're playing the tapping, whereas you do get a switch of sound when you're playing here and here. It's ever so slight change of sound, but because, um, well, it depends on how you've got your pickup set up, but in general, you do get a change of sound when you're play changing between strings, even if you play the same notes. So that's why I prefer to play the tapping version, and sorry again for the sloppy playing here. I kind of just, I sort of, figured it out once before about a year ago, haven't played it since, but I realise some people don't like tapping, so you can play it that way. Also, you may have noticed I've changed shirt um, and guitar sound while I've been uh, recording this video, and that's because, um, one, uh, the video that I created before got corrupted, so I had to remake it, and secondly, I had to give my actual lamp, my nice Marshall lamp, to my band um, because we have band practice regularly very far away from where I live and I can't take it there all the time. Um, so, yeah, that's this uh, that's this lesson for Still Laughing by Law Profits. Again, uh, tell me how I can improve my teaching. Honestly, I think I'm rubbish, um, so I want to really take as many points as you possibly can give me. And um, hopefully you can learn from this.
If not, again, I will make a new one. Uh, hopefully it will be better. And any suggestions on new songs? I'm, at the moment I'm planning to do most of Lost Prophets first album, um, potentially some of their second album as well. The most uh, Some Bullet stuff, some Funeral Friend, some Papa Roach. Um, but again, I'm open to any suggestions from most bands. Um, yeah, just post a message uh, to give me a black, PM me or just leave a comment underneath my videos. Um, so, thanks for watching.